So I'm in Chicago for the second to last stop of the Rizos on the Road tour. I can't believe we made it this far. I can't believe this is our fifth city. This is still so freaking surreal, so crazy. It is early as hell. It's freaking 9 a.m. in Chicago. But I left I left my house at 4 a.m. Guys, I really tried it. I really tried it on this trip. I started packing like at 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, who am I? Who am I? And then I didn't leave my house until like 4.30. And my flight left at 6.30. So I was like, you know what? I checked in my bag online. I just need to get to the airport by um, 5.30, the latest, so that I can check in my bag. Because you only have 45 minutes, up, from 45 minutes to an hour to drop off your checked-in luggage. Um, or else you, you can't make the flight. Like, they won't let you on the flight because your bag is not going to make it on time. But I guess I've been traveling so much that I really knew how far I could push it and I really tried it. So I left my house at 4.30. I got to the airport at 5.10. Um, my bag was already paid for, so all I had to do was drop it off. It was overweight two pounds because your girl wants to pack at last minute. And when I pack at last minute, the bad thing about... Oh. Just warm up. The bad thing about parking at last minute is the fact the valet's like, ma'am, like, I gave you the car, like... 20 minutes ago why are you still here because i'm talking to the camera don't you see me talking to the camera like hello um so the bad thing about packing at last minute is the fact that i don't organize my packing and i don't i usually try to plan out my outfits and be more organized and um when i actually do do that my luggage is underweight but because i packed like literally two hours before I had to leave I just threw everything in my suitcase I don't even know what the hell I um I packed and yeah it was two pounds overweight so hopefully I packed some cute stuff because I have no idea and then thank god I always wear the same shit to the airport it's either this little onesie that I have um I didn't even wear a bra because I was like fuck it no bra today I don't want to deal with that today so I don't even have a bra <laughs> You know, we're just being real honest today. And um, it's usually this one onesie with a jacket on top because I'm a grandma and I'm always cold. Or it's leggings, um, a loose oversized top, and then a jacket on top. And some type of hat. If my hair is done or not, I'm wearing a hat. So my hair, I got my hair colored last night by Ona. Um, I didn't do a wash and go style. It's just an abundance. It's actually still kind of wet. So I just threw it back and I throw a hat on and I have no makeup on I'm wearing sneakers because I love to wear sneakers to the airport especially if they're slip-ons and um yeah I just got here and I actually have to go pick up Rocio at the other airport because homegirl wanted to fly, fly southwest to get her points and fly southwest only flies into the other airport so I'm on my way to go pick her up at the other airport um what else do I have to tell you guys this valet better not come for me sir like i am working i am filming a youtube video leave me alone so i'm just gonna pretend that i'm fixing my mirror okay okay oh by the way i didn't even tell you guys about the car i'm in i am currently in the kia soul turbo um this one does not have a panoramic sunroof which is one of my favorite features about the um so and i believe the panoramic sunroof comes in the soul ev and this is just a turbo so it doesn't have a panoramic sunroof but she's still cute um i think she's a she no i don't know i still have i have to test the waters um it's silver on the outside and the soul and the cadenza are my favorite cards like the soul is definitely like i feel like the perfect car if you live in the city because it's nice and compact where you can fit into those tiny like parking spaces but it's also big enough that you could like load up the trunk with a whole bunch of stuff like if you put those seats all the way down you could literally load up this car with so many things which you guys have seen us do in houston when we loaded up the car to go to the houston event finish telling you guys the story um i'm just connecting this so i can listen to music on the way there um i got to the airport at 5 10 was able to check in my luggage was able to go through security and i was checked in and everything by 5 25 my flight didn't load until 5 um 55 so i was even able to get some food and eat it before the plane look at god looking out for your girl when she be trying it thank you jesus okay that was it bye <laughs> Okay. Hey.
gonna go to Theo. I'm still not at the airport. I'm like a mile away now. And then I have to drive all the way back to the O'Hare airport, which is where I came from, to pick up Shadi. Shadi is a, one of my really good friends. You guys probably know who she is. But at this point, if you watch my vlogs, you definitely know who Shadi is. Shadi's mom is the one that throws all the bomb Dominican parties for Whoa. her birthday. Are you recording me? Yes. I look like a zombie. I finally got to this damn I feel airport. Like a zombie. In freaking Wyoming. This airport is so far. <laughs> Zoom in on her face. But you know why she feels like a zombie, right? Because homegirl wants to go out and have some drinks. While I was packing my bag, she was out living it up. Like she's tw she just turned 21. Even though her sister just turned 20. And that's why she feels like a zombie. Here. I don't know, figure it out. We gotta go get Shadi. Come on, girl, get it together. We're about to have some deep dish pizza in Chicago. The first bite, the first bite. I was kind of expecting my personal pan to be that size. <laughs> This is my personal pan pizza. You got the after school this, this is not, this is the after school special. This is not that big. So if you guys come here, get, and you want the personal size, just order the small. <laughs> hey guys, happy Thursday. Today we spent all of the day working on pizzas on the road, Chicago and New York stuff. Um, I just went to take a shower and I washed my hair with the Honey Baby Natural Shampoo and Conditioner, which I love. I'm about to show it to you guys right now. This is our Airbnb, by the way, which I just showed you on my Instagram story. So this is the Honey Baby Naturals Honey Child Moisture Balance Gentle Shampoo. And then the Honey Baby Naturals Honey Sweet Softening Conditioner, which I love. This left my hair so soft. And I'll see you wash your hair with it too. And then I styled my hair with the Honey Baby Naturals Not My Honey Instant Detangler. And then I put the Frisbee Curls Blueberry Wrist Curl Control Jelly on top. And I'll show you guys the finished results after I finish getting ready. Um, we're getting ready to go out now because we clocked out. Okay, we're done with work. We're gonna go to a bar to have drinks, have some dinner. Rocio's getting ready. Shadi's getting ready. I need to grab my lipstick. Te le van a dejar toda la luz prendida. Okay, I'm going to fucking fight you. Keep playing with me. <laughs> hey, Rocio. Are you done? I'm working Where is, right now. The car key? Look at her hair, guys. You can't see. Bye. You guys are well. taking forever. Bye. Okay, this is how my hair turned out. Toodaloo. Have a great day. Good night, Anna. We'll send you pictures from the rooftop. <laughs> They're gonna leave me. No, but for real, I just had to show you guys how my hair came out. Rocio's hair looks bomb too, but she. You the lock door. Hurry up! Happy Friday. We are two days away from Rocio's. Oh, look at like we're like color blocking today. We're two days away from Rocio's on the road to Chicago, and today is a really, really, really exciting and unexpected day because. So as I was saying, Aisha, who is the first Latina owned and made, she has the first Latina owned and made natural hair. Body. Okay, so she's Puerto Rican. She's um, from Chicago. And anyways, um, we they reached out to us for the tour, telling us that they wanted to sponsor, be sponsored for the tour. So when we found out about her and her story, um, she's been a chemical engineer for 12 years. She's been making products for all of our favorite what curly hair way? brands. When, when, when we got the email from them originally and we were reading about everything that has to do with Honey Baby Naturals and Aisha, we were just like, after every sentence, we're like, oh my god, oh my god, yeah. this, this is exactly what we've been wanting to work with, oh my god. The whole email. Exactly. The whole email. Because you know how we're always big on supporting, like, our people, supporting our Latina, supporting our woman of color, and so to have, like, a Latina-owned natural hair care brand wanting to work with us and support 
support us and what we're doing like we are over the moon so anyway we met up with um, Aisha in New Orleans that's when we met her in person for the first time and she lives in Chicago so we did get to meet up with her a few days ago and we were just you know chatting ideas with her and anyways right now we're on the way um, she's gonna kind of show us the be behind the scenes in her everyday life so we're on the way to uh, meet her manufacturer and see how her product gets made like this is crazy Um, we're shooting today with the girls, so we're getting some content from around the city. We just shot at over at the Chicago side. So we're shooting at the second location right now. And, um... Uh, yeah. yeah, I definitely have shoes later, so we should do this. Oh, and this is the car we're driving, which I think I showed it to you guys already. These are my fajas in here. Oh, you know, just casually changing into our second look in the car. See the stuff, my bra flying around. People, people swear but we're over here like, we became overnight celebrities with this Kia deal. Girl, we changing in this soul right now. Are they catching Pokemon right yeah, now? Yeah, they're all, like, they're are they all Pokemon. there though? Like, like I don't understand. Like, no. Guys, this is a Pokemon Go festival. That makes no sense. Because apparently people still do this. Look, they all have external chargers. That's oh amazing. my gosh. I wish it was that easy bar. to find a fucking boyfriend. Just we, go get Can we just go to a boyfriend convention and catch? catch I gotta catch them all. Catch all them up. <laughs> And then when they're being a fuckboy, you release them back into the wild. Yes. <laughs> I want to catch a grown Pokemon, a already developed Pokemon. What is the full catch. developed form of Pikachu? Raichu? I need me a Raichu. Raichu? Yes, no, I ain't I trying to... I'm Raichu mad that you know what it is. <laughs> I grew up with brothers. I, I used also, to watch all this. I was obsessed with Pokemon. I had like binders of fucking Pokemon All the cards. Pokemon cards? Um, yeah. Your mom never threw your Pokemon cards away? No. She, she didn't was. think it was the devil? No. She didn't watch Primer Impacto and, and want no. to like, get rid of all that. your things? Remember the whole thing? Because oh my, my mom did that to us and my poor uh, brother uh, cried. Hey guys, so we was... are back in the Airbnb. I just finished doing my first ever lingerie shoot with Denise. Well, my first ever lingerie shoot, period. This set, this is the top and this is the bottom. And then I just put this little thing over it. It just came out really cute. And I'm not even gonna lie, I was super, super, duper, 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 like, um, not self-conscious, because it's, it's not that I feel, like, ugly or anything, or even though I have an extra couple pounds on me, I don't feel like, you know, I'm still very confident. But I've never posted any pictures to this type of extent. So, <sighs> I'm, like, low-key nervous, but... Denise is amazing at what she does and the pictures look so beautiful they look so tasteful which is completely my style like if I'm gonna do something like this it has to be tasteful and Denise just killed it so I can't wait for you guys to see the pictures all right so tomorrow is the event so we're going to try to keep it low-key tonight I am going to go hang out with Aisha who's the owner of honey baby naturals probably hang out with her and her friends for a little bit and then try to be back home and in bed at least by 12 so that i can get a good like seven hours of sleep for the event tomorrow so yeah that's what i've been up to today everything you said they already knew more or less so well, here's something that you didn't know
a big company like Kia, like they care and like people listen to you when you're telling them about your problems. Like people are listening to me and like my struggles and like they're educating because I think education is obviously key. Certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together. Today is, well, you can tell by my outfit, I'm wearing the same thing I wore when I landed. That means I'm going back home because you guys know I typically wear the same shit to the airport um, so that way I can pack less. It's one of my little tricks that I learned. So I wear the same thing to go and the same thing to come back home. Um, today is my last day in Chicago. I leave at 6 p.m. I'm so sad. I've been having way too much fun here and um I just finished working. Um, I woke up today, sent out a few emails because you know, the hustle never ends. And um, now we are getting ready to ship the step and repeat and all of the things for at least was on the road to New York. Um, I have to ship that back to New York from here. And then we're gonna grab something to eat. No, I think we're gonna eat first and then do the shipping and then like just enjoy a little bit of the city and then I we leave at six. So the cool thing is I'm driving a Kia Forte now, not the Soul. Um, we get to, I just have to turn in the car at the rental place. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. And then next week is the New York event. It's crazy. We are sold 170 tickets. We have a wait list. This is insane, you guys. Oh, I just love you guys so much. I just love you guys so freaking much. How cute is my pineapple hat, though? Ashley got this for me from LA. I love it. I love it. And I have another one that says bad hair day. Super cute. But yeah. I was really feeling myself today because I typically don't even wear makeup to the airport, but you know, I wanted to be a girl, so I put on some makeup. So let me go get this stuff so I can pack the car and we can get the hell out of here. <sighs> All of that handiwork got me tight. loaded up these are the step and repeats here and then a few boxes in the back but everything fits in the car that's one thing i will tell you about kia cars some of them the ones that are meant to be compact are definitely compact but they fit all your crap <laughs> so we put the seats down in the back and we're able to fit this in there so we're gonna drop this off um and then head up head out to get something to eat because i'm hangry I know you guys are probably looking at this vlog wondering what I have on my face because it looks Robin. I'm wearing Gilded Honey and then I have Kiss of Fire by Dose of Color on my lips. Just <laughs> fucking foundation because I felt like a boy and I feel like my face is orange now. Like no, I live not. in the Jersey Shore because my tan is fading. So I'm like too light now for my, my tan foundation. 
So now I need to go 10. Shadi, the event coordinator slash intern slash executive assistant slash executive slash la cha -cha. in charge. The, the Katie crew. <laughs> Literally, you've done everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are we ten. going to Congo? Sure. Room? Yeah. Why my face looks orange? It lo looks like a little darker, but it's not that bad. Like, look at my nose. Oh, guys, guys. Shadi, tell them where we at. Tell them where we at. Um, we're in the Bongo Room, located on Milwaukee Avenue in Wicker Park. We have here a side of eggs, um, red velvet pancakes with white chocolate, even though I prefer milk. But, and Simona's, we have bacon, we have an avocado. Chorizo. And what kind of cheese? Que se yo. Omelette. <laughs> with English muffins, potato fries, and we used to have drinks. Yes, yes. thank you. Oh, sure. We used um, to have drinks. I had a Saint Germain with, I don't know what, in Prosecco. And that shit is gone. You had uh, <laughs> summertime Prosecco. Yes. You don't let nobody eat, you want to be working all the time. Listen, ma'am. You signed up for this life. This is a treat. You believed that you would come to Chicago to vacation. Wrong. I don't want to fall in this gancho. Risos on the road? No. In Nueva York, no. She lied. She loved it. She loved it.